Hi everybody, this is Tiffany. I hope everyone's having a great day. I came on a prophetic word. So guys, this is a quick dream that I had two days ago. So I was pulling the curtains across in my room and then my blinds were still down. And then I saw this locust on the border of the window. So the locust stared back at me. I'm staring at this locust. And then I woke up. I got freaked out of my, <laughs> scared out of my sleep when I saw that huge locust staring back at me and that was it. So originally I thought it was a grasshopper. So when I looked up grasshopper, it had slash locust next to it. So when I saw the word locust, that's when I felt the Holy Spirit. So I knew I was going in that direction, which is locust. And I knew this was not going to be a good message. So I thought, because it's half good, half bad. So I'm going to read what stood out to me when I read grasshopper slash locust and the color of the locust. And then what, what the Holy Spirit led me to do was look up locust, but I didn't have that originally. It's all the recording that I try to do today, um, the Holy Spirit led me to look up locusts, which I did, and that's actually an extra piece to this puzzle right here. It's just confirmation of what, what the Lord is um, saying here. So I'm going to read um, what stood out to me here. So grasshopper slash locust, a devastating situation, an instrument of God's judgment. That's when I looked up grasshopper slash uh, locust. And then because it was brown, because locusts could be green too, brown slash tan, it says life and a change of season in life. So this is going to be a big change here, um, depending on, for both people, whether it's good or it's bad, it's going to be a big change in your life um, when this occurs. Um, so the Lord led me to read to, to look up Joel 225 to be a part of this message and this is when it took a turn for half good half bad and I'll restore to you the years that the locust has eaten the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm my great army which I sent among you so what was kept on highlighting to me when I was recording was my great army which I sent among you I just didn't know why that is until the Holy Spirit led me to look up locusts which was while recording. It says here, many enemies attacking you, demonic spirits trying to devour something in your life, a swarming evil demonic army. So the Lord is just confirming that it might be an army that has been um, stealing from you, uh, attacking you, but what's gonna happen is they're gonna get judgment and you have an army as well. And now I'm going to read Psalms 91 because Psalms 91 I was reading before bed. And this is also supposed to be a part of this message because what stood out to me here was, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. And when I read that, the Holy Spirit uh, confirmed that this is actually supposed to be taken out because the locust is part of, it was the eighth plague um, judgment. And the, if you are resting in the Lord, abiding by the Lord's will and ways of your life, that plague will not come nigh thy dwelling. So I'm going to read Psalms 91, 9 through 11. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. So, of course, you know that you have angels encamped around you. Now the Lord is confirming to you, you have this is the army that he's talking about that it doesn't matter if the evil is, has been attacking you they're gonna get their judgment so the Holy Spirit led me to pray how long because you know me pulling back the curtain is confirming revelation so the Lord is revealing this to us this is gonna take place so this is not something that might take place it will take place so the window being there as well one of the things to, to look at was the um what just what just came to me with the blinds as well um yes blinds is okay it's revelation for us but the people that's going to get the judgment is blinded from this they, they don't know so um and that i did not write that down and that's not part of what i even thought the holy spirit just led that to me um brought that to me to say so um the window is representing the future and that's when the holy spirit led me to pray how long in the future because originally i didn't know if it was months or years so it's not years that's confirmation that it's not years so i wrote down here to pray about one to three months three to six months six to nine months so when i went into prayer the lord confirmed it was six months so I went back into prayer, the Holy Spirit led me to go back into prayer regarding which bracket here. Since six months is in the three to six months and the six to nine months pile, 
which bracket the Lord was talking about, three to six or six to nine. So it's three to six months. So I, I wasn't sure. So if it's six months confirmation that is going to take place, why three to six months is relevant here? The reason why three to six months is relevant here, he wants us to focus on the the domino effect that will happen before the six months. So if you've been resting in the Lord, abiding in the Lord, the Lord has been your refuge, your covering, you've been praying, you've been fasting, you've been doing everything you need to do, you're blocking the enemy, you're gonna be able to block the enemy out, right? So the three to six months is for people, that's giving you a time frame that people can get it together if they have been slacking in any way. So you have that window, that three to six months to get it together, right? And then if you've been doing what you're supposed to do, you're just waiting for the blessings. So it's going to be a trickle like of blessings and leading up to the six months. Or for the people that's on the left, it's going to be a, a, a leading up to the big disaster for six months. So they're going to have little things happening that's not good that's going to lead up to six months. And we're going to have uh, leading up to the uh, little blessings here and there as leading up to the six months. So the six month time frame is going to be a big blessing or big disaster in that person's life whoever or whichever side of the the coin the person is on uh, let me see if that was anything else so the lord is confirming that you're covered and he's going to restore everything that has been stolen because there's still things that has been stolen from people whether it be spiritual or physical but you know nothing can happen in the physical unless it happens in the spirit first so you have an army you have angels encamped around you um, and the wicked individuals, this, this, the evil demonic, because it's spiritual, that we don't fight against flesh and blood. So therefore, there's evil spirits then use, you, using humans to then come against you physically and spiritually. But then if it's spiritual, evil spirits are just coming, attacking you. And the Lord is going to restore everything that has been stolen from you. And if you have a three to six time. We all have three to six months. It's going to happen at the same time. Um... So that's pretty much it. So three to six months blessings, three to six months uh, disaster, destruction, but the leading up to the three to six months. So you, people do still have that window to get it together. I believe they do. I don't know if it's set in stone that you, that's it, whatever side is, that's it, but I doubt it. I believe that people can then repent and turn away from what they're doing, but they have a three to six month time frame to do that. And if you've been abiding in the Lord, don't slack now. This is not the time to slack now, but just be aware that you will, everything that has been stolen from you will be returned to you. That is confirmation. You know, that's confirmation that we're going to get everything back. I don't know how we're going to get it back. We're just going to get it back. Just go into prayer regarding the three to six months and just pray to the Lord. Make sure you're in right standing. Make sure your heart posture is correct. Make sure you're in a repentant state. And just make sure that um, if there's anything that you need to change, you change it. We all have three to six months to get it together. Um, but just be expecting for three to six months. So, you know, this is actually a blessing for us to know at least what to look out for for the good and if people are on the left hand they still have this time to get it together but disaster is coming oh yeah the uh, Holy Spirit just led me to something that I asked about this morning regarding could the locust actually be a physical um a physical destruction over someone and it depends because I still got a question mark over that it depends on what you do for a living because if you do have crops and things of that nature the locust actually could be judgment for you. So just letting you know, the locust itself can't actually be judgment. So look out for that. Um, so that, yeah, so that was a question mark. I wasn't sure, but I'm not getting a complete no. So that means it could be for some individuals that that would happen to if they're on the left-hand side. All right, guys, I love you guys. I might do a quick live because it is so intense. I actually just want to talk to you guys about how much times I had to record this message, but I'm glad that it's out. I love you guys. I hope this message helps someone. Remember, take it to Lord in prayer. Have a wonderful and blessed day, and I'll see you soon. Lord willing, and be blessed, guys. Bye.